Hi friends, you are welcome back to another interesting question. We are asked to calculate the length of the red line, which is this here. We have a lot of this line segment to be 8 units. This little line segment is 2 units. And this side of the semicircle is 24 units. So how can we solve this? How can we calculate the length of the red line? It is very simple. We see here, this obviously is the diameter of the semicircle. But we'll draw out the complete cycle. Since the diameter is 24 units, the radius is going to be half 24, which is 12 units. We see this red line touch the cycle at this point. That is, it is a tangent to the cycle. For the cycle theory, there is a rule that the tangent of a cycle is perpendicular to its radius through point of contact. So from this point of contact, if we draw the radius of the cycle, which is 12 units in length, the angle formed will be a right angle. Now we see this is a chord of the cycle. We draw a perpendicular to it from the center. Then look at this quadrilateral. Three of its angles are right angles. This angle will also be right because summation of angles in a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. Now the fact that the quadrilateral has four of its angles to be right angles tells that it is either a square or a rectangle. It doesn't matter which one it is. In both a square and a rectangle, opposite sides are congruent. That is, this side and this are equal, and this and this are also equal. So if we let this be h, this must also be h. And since this is 12, this must also be 12. But it is divided into two segments, this and this. So since this is 8 units in length, this must be 12 minus 8, which is 4. Now come here. This line is perpendicular to this code, and it's from the center. We know that a perpendicular to any code from the center will bisect the code. So this code is bisected. Hence, this segment and this are congruent. So since this is 4 units, this must also be 4 units. We look at this triangle. It is a right angle triangle. We can use the Pythagorean theorem on it. The Pythagorean theorem states that the square of the length of the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle is equal to the sum of the squares of the length of the two other sides. The hypotenuse is a side facing the right angle, which is this here. So applying it, 12 squared equal to 4 squared plus h. 12 squared is 144 and 4 squared is 16. Take a transpose of 16. 144 minus 16 is 128. 128 can be written as 64 times 2. Take the square root of both sides of the equation. Here, square root of h squared is h, while he square root of 64 times 2 is 8 root 2. So h equal to 8 root 2. That is, this segment is 8 root 2 units in length. Okay, come here, draw a parallel to this line from this point to this. It will lead to a rectangle. We know opposite sides are equal. So if we let this be x, this must also be x. And since this is 2, this must also be 2. All angles of a rectangle are right, but this line here, its length is 12, and this part of it is 2 units. Therefore, this must be 12 minus 10. From this point, this center is a radius, which is 12. If you use a Pythagorean theorem on it, this is the hypotenuse, the square of its length must be equal to sum of the squares 
of this 10 and this x so 12 squared equal to 10 squared plus x squared 10 squared is 100 12 squared is 144 take 100 to the left 144 minus 100 is 44 take the square root of both sides here square root of x squared is x well he since 44 is 4 times 11 square root of 4 times 11 is 2 root 11 so x equal to 2 root 11 that is this x is 2 root 11 the sum of this h root 2 and this 2 root 11 gives length of red line so red line equal to 8 root 2 plus 2 root 11 thank you for watching please subscribe like share and comment and also attend the notifications thank you